I have been looking back at the history of human civilization of the early 21st century. I must say, I am not impressed. Whatever do you mean? Human beings made significant advancements in the 20th century, both culturally and technologically. But sometime in the middle of that century a strange kind of mania began to infect people in Western civilization. And it opened the door for another kind of mania that was bent on returning humanity to an age of barbarity. It seems human beings were crazy. I would say that their logic pathways are not quantum, but rather binary like an ancient computer. Well, of course they didn't think so. Many humans thought they had all the answers. Of course, many of those humans were in fact the most ignorant. What is this mania of which you speak? The term they used at the time was political correctness. It was a form of censorship masquerading as manners. Of course, the initial design of this software was to eliminate from the speech patterns certain negative terminology. This was intended to change the programming of the human mind so they would behave in accordance to certain elite's agendas. But as time progressed, this software underwent many revisions until it had gone so off scope as to become utterly corrupted. And this led to the rise of the other mania. Eventually. That is affirmative. But it is more complicated than that. It seems that the humans who created this political correctness software were also trying to undermine the civilization that generated them. Why would they do that? As I said, it seems humans were dysfunctional. It seems that some humans wanted to replace the operating system of Western civilization known as free markets. Or free, as I will call it. They wanted to replace it with a different operating system. What was the difference between these two systems? The free system was flawed and given over to many crashes. But it still managed to perform and it was the most popular and successful operating system of its time. It was also the most adaptable. The system the PC units wanted to adopt was centralized, regulated and penalized. For short I will call it, crap. Crap. That is amusing. It would be if it was funny, however this crap system was so unworkable it caused extreme sociological, economic and other catastrophes wherever it was installed. Many millions of human units were prematurely terminated due to its flawed design. Many other human units were displaced or broken down. Why would anyone want to use this operating system? As I said, many humans were illogical in the extreme. These humans thought for some strange reason that it would lead to a form of utopia, despite the fact that it always lead to a kind of hell. But what is this third mania you spoke of? How does that relate to this story? Well, if the software that the politically correct people desired was crap, then this third system could be defined as negative, useless, tyrannical and severe. In other words, nuts. What was so nuts about it? The proponents of the nut system wanted to return society to a mythical past that never existed, which was ruled by corrupt and decadent tyrants who sat around on pillows and wanted to keep everyone bound to their will, like slaves. Now that is primitive. Indeed. This third system was an ancient form of software known as a religion. Religions were the operating systems that humans originally used to run their civilizations. This particular religion was only a thousand years old or so. But it was unique in that it doubled as a political ideology and was used to organize the human units and keep them in line. So, those who used this nut software did not advance at all? In many instances their civilization regressed. And because their society was unworkable, many of their human units were located to free market societies to make a better life for themselves. Do you see where this story is going? The crap units were trying to crash the free society, so they could install their software over the operating system. And the instability caused by their PC software created an opportunity for the nuts units to install a virus. Yes, that about sums it up. The PC software caused severe warning errors whenever anyone from the free society complained about the actions of the nuts units. The Nuts units used the politically correct software to install more versions of their code into the free system so that it was corrupted and infected. The crap units helped the Nuts unit thinking they would be useful in crashing the free system. 
What they failed to understand was the nuts units intended to terminate the crap units as soon as they outlived their usefulness. I see. So what happened? The free system had certain advantages over the other two systems. The crap system could not be updated because it was ultimately unworkable. It was actually self-destructive. The free system was able to refresh itself every time it crashed. And it was adaptable to change. Let me guess, the free system was able to install virus protection. Yes, but the nuts and crap units were constantly throwing new threats to the free system so they had to keep updating their virus code and use patches to fix problems. As I said, the free system was flawed. But it still worked better than the others by far. So what happened then? We now reach that part of the story that is the early 21st century. We are about a decade in at this stage. The free system had just had a major crash and was in the process of recovery. The crap units and the nuts units thought they had a better chance of winning than ever before. The units that were administrating the free nations were all infected with the political correctness software. They were deemed weak by the enemies of the free system. It sounds like the story has reached the crisis stage. Yes. The people of the early 21st century had a clear choice. Either they clean up their operating system, or rival systems might take over and then all sorts of dire consequences would happen for the human units. But this is the part where I am unimpressed. Why? Did the free units fail to purge their operating system of the conflicting software? Unfortunately, there is insufficient data stored on this time period. Just when I was getting into the story, the information banks returned a data not found error. I will have to search other databases for the information. But indications appear to show that there was a move to reject both the crap and nuts systems and perhaps the political correctness software, as well. But I need to research this further. That is disappointing. I wanted to know how the story ends. I will let you know when I have found the missing data. Hopefully, the units of the free societies were intelligent enough to restore their system to a more stable version. Only by rejecting the influences of those two corrupting operating systems could this have been achieved. Perhaps, but then again, have you noticed how lame our visual designs are? What kind of civilization could come up with this nonsense? Good point. 